At the Army 2024 International Military Technical Forum, the Russian Helicopters Holding Company, part of the Rostec State Corporation, introduced an updated version of the ANSAT helicopter. This version is notable for being fully produced with domestically sourced components, reflecting a significant shift towards reducing dependence on foreign technologies. The helicopter, manufactured at the Kazan Helicopter Plant, was presented in an ambulance configuration equipped with a medical module designed for patient transport and in-flight care. The updated ANSAT is powered by two VK650V engines, replacing the previously used Pratt & Whitney PW207K turboshaft engines. The VK650V, developed by UEC Klimov, is the first Russian helicopter engine in the 650 to 750 horsepower class. It is intended to replace foreign engines not only in the ANSAT but also in other Russian helicopters like the Ka-226T. The ANSAT can also be fitted with an additional fuel tank, which extends its flight range to 800 kilometers. The helicopter's medical module includes equipment such as an artificial lung ventilation system and tele-ECG, allowing for the maintenance of vital functions and the provision of intensive therapy during flight. This makes the ANSAT suitable for medical evacuation missions, particularly in areas where immediate access to medical facilities is limited. Vladimir Artyakov, first Deputy Director General of Rostec State Corporation, noted that this version of the ANSAT is the first to be presented with all foreign components replaced by Russian-made systems. The helicopter has undergone frequency tests of its control system at the NE Zhukovsky Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute, and it is now being prepared for ground and flight tests. The ANSAT features a spacious cabin, the largest in its class, which allows for versatility in its use. It is designed to operate in temperatures ranging from minus 45 to plus 50 degrees Celsius and at high altitudes, making it adaptable to various missions, including those in dense urban areas. The helicopter is noted for its maneuverability and ease of maintenance. In addition to the updates on the ANSAT, UEC Klimov announced at the HELIRUSSIA 2024 exhibition that the certification of other helicopters with VK series engines is progressing. The VK1600V engine, intended for the KA62 helicopter, is expected to be certified by the end of 2024, with deliveries planned for 2025. However, there have been reports of challenges in the development of the VK650V engine, with some insiders expressing concerns about its progress and reliability. The VK1600V, according to reports, has yet to undergo significant testing. Despite these challenges, UEC Klimov has indicated that the first flight of the ANSAT with the VK650V engines is expected to occur this year, with type certificates for both the engine and the helicopter anticipated by the end of 2024. Deliveries of the new ANSAT model are projected to begin in 2025. The ANSAT helicopter, a light twin-engine model, is designed for a range of roles, including passenger and cargo transport, search and rescue, patrol, training, VIP transport, and firefighting. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 3,600 kg, a cruising speed of 220 km per hour, and a flight range of up to 505 km with its main fuel tanks. The helicopter's design complies with AP29, FAR29, standards, offering safety features that include the ability to perform single-engine flight and landing.
The Kazan Ansat is a Russian light, multi-purpose helicopter manufactured by Kazan Helicopters. The Kazan Ansat helicopter was designed in the 1990s in order to replace the aging fleet of Mil Mi-2 light multirole helicopters. Design work on the Ansat helicopter began at Kazan in 1993, with structural strength and aerodynamic calculations subcontracted to Kazan State Technical University, production of the rotor to Aviation Scientific Company and transmission to Aeromechanica Co. ANSAT, name in Tatar language can be translated as easy or light. The multi-purpose light helicopter ANSAT is built to a classic single rotor design with a four-blade main rotor and a two-blade tail rotor. The fuselage has a pair of doors in pilot's cab, and a pair of upwards and downwards opening side doors in transport compartment. After the seats have been removed, it can take 1,000 kilograms of cargo inside. On external hook, it can take 1,300 kilograms of load. The ANSAT has a metal fuselage, composite non-load bearing parts, and layered fiberglass blades. The ANSAT boasts the largest cabin in its class and it can be rapidly reconfigured. The wide sliding door and large cabin volume allow the transportation of up to eight passengers and makes it possible to allocate a maximum amount of equipment in special design versions. Equipped with shock-absorbing seats for passengers, the conventional configuration is a high-mounted tail boom carrying fixed horizontal stabilizer and two fins, two turbo shaft power plants above the cabin. The ANSAT is crewed by one pilot. The cockpit is equipped with Avionica FBW Controls Quadruple Electronic System and Dubal Hydraulic System. Automatic flight control is standard on all piloting functions and optional on navigation functions with KSU a digital control system. The training model uses a KSUA fly-by-wire flight control system and has a four-channel digital integrated control system. The helicopter can also be configured to provide various levels of control difficulty for pilot training. The use of the KSUA allows for controlling the helicopter using the main and tail rotors without needing hydromechanical controls. The KSUA is a fail-safe system due to the quadruple redundancy provided by digital and analog computers. The digital redundant integrated control system replaces hydromechanical controls with fly-by-wire controls. It ensures all required stability and controllability characteristics during all phases of flight, from takeoff to landing. The serial Kazan ANSAT is an unarmed rotorcraft. The helicopter features electrical system 27 volts with battery, optional AC system with second battery, and electric de-icing is available an option. Rescue hoist, cargo tied-ups and IRF are also available an option.